this would look really nice I was saying uh, on my favourite uh, CRT uh, Trinitron it look nice on all of them but I've got one from the late 70s <laughs> it's sort of like a giant version of the uh, monitor inside the SX64 it's got that, that glass plate in front of it to protect the CRT tube but we, they must have been really expensive if they went to that level. There we go, one now. Obviously I'm not trying to go for any kind of bonus, I'm just trying to fucking survive. So yeah, this, this is it. Obviously I like Galaxian because I showed you that. Uh, Galaxian ripoff on the C64 and I'm going to buy an action replay 7 cartridge if I see one for sale on eBay and I'm going to change the graphics I'm going to change them all to multicolor mode and change all the graphics into Galaxian type graphics and that'll be that mate and then I'm going to freeze the fucker save it to disk and flog it to all of you for a million pounds on eBid, not eBay. I can't afford eBay. Can you imagine the fees on a million pound sale? I think I'm being given that one. He let me win that. He's like, yeah, you're rubbish. I'll let you win this one. I'll let you win. I'll beat you, man. Nah, I'll let you win. Who remembers those? Uh, that was a classic line, isn't it? You're playing it way of the exploding fist on your C64, two player with your best mate, and it's a real tough struggle, and you win by one out of nine points, you know, however it works. And it's really, really right to the limit, and he's like, I let you win. <laughs> we should do that in the arcade as well. Great days, man. I wonder if little shits uh, from the 90s uh, were actually saying that to each other on Street Fighter 2 because they weren't allowed to play Mortal Kombat. This is, great. This is so playable. This is as playable as it could possibly be with a real NES. And that's a lot of hassle. You can buy two of these and just keep one after testing to make sure it works as a spare in case this one stops working. They're just so dirt cheap. It's disposable. But apart from uh, the extreme colour saturation for some reason, like I say, uh, it looks really clean. It looks much better than the 500 in one. So this one, the 620 in one, We've done the unboxing video. We can go and check that out. I can't be bothered to put a link. You'll find it. It's going to be labelled as that. It's such a short video. So, yeah, you know. Uh, Bubble Bobble 2 is on here. Which is really expensive, I heard. And what's the other one that's on here? That's, yeah, come on. Ah, uh, the Mighty Bomb Jack. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of things on here. I've already talked about Gunak. That's probably my favourite shooting up on here. Really feel feels like a Battle Squadron type game on the NES. Battle Squadron being the Amiga game, which you could, if you really wanted to, also play on the Mega Drive. But it doesn't have the Amiga music then. And that's a problem. So, um, oh, I played Hyper Olympics, but I didn't want to uh, knacker out the uh, joy pad, that's the thing. F1 Race was much more playable with this controller as well. I don't like Gallagher. Uh, we've done most of these before the other ones just stopped working. 
I thought it was the cable, but no. Let's play Puyan. Puyan is a classic game. You have to watch that bit. Ah, uh, he's got two buttons. Oh yeah, it's an accuracy thing. Ah, oh, crap. Didn't know they fired it, you don't remember that. I've only played bootleg ones. Now you've got to watch out for that. Now you see you can't go up to avoid them if you stay there. Yeah, you really need to go up and down a lot which is what makes it difficult to get them, especially the way they're coming down. That's a bit of a cunt, the way they're coming down. Cunt. Yeah, that's three times I've said that, so you definitely would have, uh, yeah, so I have no excuse not for giving uh, a movie on IMDb a negative if the London accent sounds like fucking Dick Van Dyke or Seinfeld. Or Michael Richards doing That's not bad. But Puyan is not really uh, a game I would play today. I did play it though. I seem to remember playing it on some 8 bit platform. More sophisticated than the uh, BCS and not on the ColecoVision, so therefore not on a cartridge. Could have been on the C64. I'll have to check that out. Actually, it was. It was a game called Outback on the C64. That's what I had. But there was also a Big 20 version, which is really hard to find as well. But that was good too. So you should check them both out. And Mr. Miyagi would tell you, you need balance, which we translated as kids to be, you need balance, as in you need bollocks. Hilarious, isn't it? Um, the Chippendales before were in uh, Japanese. Of course you've got Ninja Gaiden. Who doesn't like Ninja Gaiden? Everyone wants to have it. If you've got an NES, you've got to have Ninja Gaiden. So I really don't know why they didn't get rid of all the uh, cheap shit games and put like, you know, all the, all the NES games. It's not like they're advertising any of the games on the box by a screenshot, I don't think. The box actually looks like a, a box you'd get with, uh, I don't know, Windows mobile phone from Microsoft. It's, nah, it's, it's all right though. you got a box. Don't complain. Any. Yeah, so... We'll have a go with this. I can't remember what number it was though. And we'll see if it glitches when you go fast, when you press two buttons. I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm never going to buy this. I don't think it will be easy to find uh, the manual for it. I don't think there's like a website that's got all of them scans. Copyright Nazis would have shut that down I reckon. And of course, we've got Archangel with his uh, uh, Ray Bands, who he borrowed off uh, Sonny uh, Burnett, stroke Sonny Crockett, in his favourite black shirt and grey tie. That's not white. It's probably a Famicom game.
Yeah, don't forget, you got to hack that sprite into uh, Apocalypse on the Amiga. A very good uh, Choplifter-esque type game. Go with uh, Copperhead has to be yeah. This will do. Chain guns and Copperhead. Ah, bollocks! Gonna have to pause it. There's no point playing this while you're smoking. You just need two hands for this day. Now, it would be possible to do this screen in high res on the uh, Commodore 64 because uh, I can't see any character squares that have got well, 8x8 pixel blocks uh, that have got more than two colours and if they have, it's so subtle you could get away with reducing those three to two. So you could almost do it on the uh, Commodore Max, which is uh, the Max machine came out before the C64. You should go and look that out, Commodore Max. And it's, uh, it is Commodore 64 compatible as far as Commodore's cartridge games go. So if they follow those standards, it would work as a cartridge, because it only had cartridges. I believe. I'll have to check that actually. It had less memory, but um, here we go. Oh, we pressed uh, the wrong button, I think. Eesh, there must be a, a skill to knowing which button you instinctively press. Ah, it still glitches like a motherfucker when you do that. Turbo! <laughs> Hang on, we've got to do it properly, isn't it? Out of turbo power. Let's try that again. Turbo! Oh man, it didn't do it, so I can't do the sound effect. Yeah, I was actually watching uh, Airwolf and uh, not the pilot, just one of the TV episodes. I was watching, um, I was watching the actual Airwolf helicopter flying over the desert and almost isometric uh, and that's what I think first gave me the idea for Desert Strike. I designed a game that suspiciously like Desert Strike although I never told anyone. I just did it, drew it all up in a, a notebook and uh, I then uh, adapted it for V the mini-series once I'd seen that I was like fucking hell that's what I want a game about and uh, I wanted a game about flying around in their spaceships basically you know the little shuttlecraft yeah I really like this Airwolf game for me this is a plus I'm not going to continue because I'm bloody starving in So uh, let's have a few more games. Uh, again, we're back to the old uh, classic uh, Donkey Kong. I was just thinking, how does this controller help improve Donkey Kong? And they're hard to miss because there's yeah there's four of them in a in a block. <coughs> Defender is much more playable. I already said it's brilliant except for the uh, controller. So let's try this thing. Pretty easy to play. 
say, I have to say, apart from the aspect ratio, which pretty much all versions are suffer with, except the Amstrad and uh, Commodore computers, of course. Ooh, fucking crap. Got to get him to come down again. No one has a time. No. Don't worry about the time limit on your scale. Worry about falling off like a wally. You prick, fail channel. You prick. Neg it, neg the video now. Go on then, mate. So we go up here to get this one. And then we wait for it to go down. And so it's got to be this one, really. And we just go down while he's going up. Then we jump on here, then jump on here. Let's press a button by accident for some reason. Gotta keep your finger on the on the pulse, mate. Yeah, if you're catching me mid there, of course. I'm just wasting lives now. It's almost like I'm in the toilet taking a shit. Oof, but that's really playable. Yeah, that's another plus, that's another win. So, we're reviewing the games themselves, and uh, I don't fancy paying uh, that much money for that one. Can we get in the whole bloody thing here? And uh, I hope the uh, picture quality is still in focus. Yeah, we tried to double drag it with actually. So, I'm sure that's Legend of Cage, that cage thing. I think that's Altered Beast. That's oh, shit, I don't want to play that, but we've got this. Which is actually Twin Cobra. As I know it. As I had it on the, uh, you know, the old PC engine. It's a bit like Raiden in the 8-bit uh, the era. Actually, no. It's mostly famous on the, on the PC engine, where computer and video games uh, championed it. Computer and video games being the uh, absolute bible of uh, retro gaming for the UK. You won't. If you haven't got that magazine and you can't find it online to read it, uh, you're a bit fucked really, you won't have any clue as to what, you know, people were talking about, people were buying and playing illegally, you know, because there was a lot of that going on as well. The old uh, stick the tape in daddy's hi-fi and uh, recopy it, man. Loads of people have done that. Or even two Spectrum owners uh, would get together with their little tape decks and just uh, connect them up straight. Put, press play on one, press record on the other, cut the wires. That job's a good one, isn't it? I don't want to change the power up. This seems to be the one that I want. Uh, what colour is this? Red? Do you reckon it's red? I went by the colour last time and I was wrong. I was supposed to get green. Ah, crap, now it's gone off the screen. After all that, you fucking bastard. Ah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm chasing the power-ups. This is a great game. Absolutely great. I think after that, I deserve some uh, what's-it-laters.